Rock City Networks, uh, we're coming to you from Enigma Bar and um, speaking of coming, Oscar and Jono are here, how are you boys? We're grand, we're, we're, hey I'm happy, I'm gay, I'm, I'm a little wet, just a little wet, it's damp, it's damp outside, it's damp inside, mostly my trouser region. Mm. <laughs> so uh, boys, last show on the tour. Uh, how, how have you? Could you move that thing up and down one more time for me, please? <laughs> Just like this. That, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, how was it? How was the show last night? What did you think about it? It was, all, it was funny. Yeah. It was a funny show. It was an actually. odd show. Not as odd as this. This is actually. This has been really weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just. Yeah. We should stop no, this. No, no, no. no, 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 no you happy? I'm gonna get a sore shoulder. I think I just um, farted. Uh, that's okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Let's 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 do it again. Just move over here. No, it's fine. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> okay. Um, right, so how was the show last night? Honestly, at Yaya's, yeah, you had a bit of, you know, you, first first couple of shows. Mm. I'm I'm already got a girl. Last night was a um, last night was a funny show. I don't know why. It just felt felt like a lot of hard work. And uh, the expression pushing poo, yeah, sh up a slope. Yeah, push comes shit to mind. Yeah. yeah, no pushing poo up a slope. And we weren't weren't getting a lot back from the audience, so it's, I don't know. Yeah. But it was, it was, I mean, I think we played okay. Yeah. Just, People still. Uh, oh. <laughs> People still clap. Don't worry, when he sees what we did in the background of his yeah, shit. <laughs> speaking of the clap. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to take my arm off you now. Yeah, no, I just realised you had it on you. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> um, and you're looking at me all sleazy like. No, I feel, quite frankly, can I say Cooper's Vintage Ale makes a man feel like he's on another world. Hey, what did you say before? Wrapped in a blanket. Uh, yeah, 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 wrapped um, in a warm blanket. Yeah, I feel very warm and blankety right now. Yeah, 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 nice. Um, but yeah, last night was a bit odd, but I got to ride on, on the wonderful Pat's shoulders through the crowd like yeah. a stallion Mr. Car -Modi. in... Yeah, Mr. Carmody. Yeah, Mr. Carmody. Like, it was like a stallion in heat. That's yeah. how I felt. Pat Carmody. Yeah, it was a good time. Then I ate shit in front of a lot of people. That's pretty funny. Yeah, we can yeah. cut back to that now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, there we go. I, I keep touching the end of his microphone. You, oh, yeah, if you, if, you, if you want to see footage of... Uh, Jono eating shit, you can go to uh, one, one guy, one cup dot com. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just something I do on the side, man. You know, once you get the hits up, you start getting hey, advertising you revenue. and gotta, gotta make your money. Hey, man. Yeah. Just, guys gotta do what a hey. guy's gotta eat poo. That's, yeah. that's, right. that's right, man. Like, fucking, you can't gaslight anthem jerseys aren't free. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fucking jersey, you idiot. They're from Jersey. Yeah, I know, but it's not a jersey. <laughs> a, 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 Real milka. <laughs> uh, real, you'd be a lovely <laughs> jersey. jersey. <laughs> real milka. milka. Talk, to me, talk to me about train wreck. Talk to me about the uh, reaction that you've been getting in the crowd because it's been pretty good. It's been really cool. We haven't actually, like, we haven't got a, uh, brought out a new song and got that sort of reaction for ages, which is a really positive sign. So um, we, we've been bringing it out. We've been playing it every gig this tour, I'm pretty sure. And um, every single time, it has had a better reaction than uh, Mo's than Mo's ass. Ass. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's 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 tingly. Mm. Yeah, it's it's nothing like a warm blanket. Yeah. Yeah. You look like, yeah, you do look like you're in a warm blanket right now. I am in a warm blanket. Yeah. yeah. I'm full of so what are, full what, of echidnas. What about after this? Tour finishes, what's happening now? Oh yeah. Uh, you, yeah, uh, we've got a we've got a show at the end of October where we're playing all new songs, which we now need to write very quickly because it's almost the start of October. Um, so thanks, yeah, thanks for giving me notice. I gave way. you notice last week, you fucking bitch. Fair enough. That's fair enough. That's six weeks, man. I don't even give them that much notice. Who's them? Oh, the the long-haired fellas that oh, I hang right. out with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the ones yeah. that make me look good. No, we, 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 we've got all the songs. We've got all the songs written. We just need to rehearse them up. Yeah. Oh, do I know them? You should. Oh, shit. Oh, uh -huh. looks like somebody's dropped the balls so on this so one. So where's the gig? Uh, the uh, Supper Club. We're actually... Um, Bullshit, you're playing the Supper Club. Bullshit, we are. Which one? <laughs> In uh, Sydney, on Oxford Street. Oh, right, I thought you meant Melbourne. No, yeah, no, no. no. It's, no. Um, if we were playing in Melbourne, as if I'd fucking tell you we were playing. Fair enough. It's because we're in Adelaide, so we're not playing that enough. I love you. I love you. Oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, we're, we're, um, we're actually doing, because we're doing a bit of a special thing with um, doing the new song set, we're actually opening for our good friends Gay Paris, uh, who are launching their debut album and stuff, so they've been doing a resident, or they're doing a residency over October, so we're doing the last one of those. On Halloween, we will be dressed up as um, raccoons. We'll be dressed as raccoons. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. 
Yeah, no, it it'll be good, I think. Well, uh, our I'll idea, our idea with that is just to play a, a set of just new songs. Yeah. Just yeah, maybe crash and burn, but see how you know, see how they go. If the kids don't like it, I would say I don't like the kids, but that would be a lie. That would be. Um, I've just incriminated myself again. That would be a great fallacy. Yes, it would. <laughs> fallacy. And um, are we um. Are you gonna? Are you going to look at going back to South by Southwest? We're, not, we're not just because I want to go back. But. No, well, we're we're up for it, but um. Or is we're, it more a US tour thing this time? Well, look, man, I, I've put us up for it. If we if we get offered an invitation for the third year running, then that'll be good. But if we don't, we don't. But we'll just take it as it comes. I mean, if we get offered and the timing's right and it makes sense and we can do other shit over there, we'll do it. But. I mean, well, as far as I'm concerned, with as you know, with Classic Rock Magazine in the UK, you guys are getting. I mean, you're not getting big articles, but you're getting exceptional nods from those sort of guys. Is Europe an option? Oh, definitely. We're actually just uh, in negotiations with a UK manager at the moment. So yeah. if that shit happens, we'll be over there next summer. I'd much, I'd much rather go to the UK than the States again. But yeah, what else? See what happens. Yeah, man. It, 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 it just depends on, you know, yeah. what options we have, you know. Yeah. No, we don't have any money, so it's, yeah. you know. If anyone's got any money that they want to give us, Thanks. Well, you can do you can do what Johnny Driver did before they went to Spain a couple of years ago when I interviewed him at the Tote, and he sent out a bulk email to all the fans uh, asking for donations for the tour. And they got what, eleven bucks? He got twenty dollars off a mate of mine from Queensland who really likes the Devil Rock Four, and he sent twenty dollars in the mail instead of like internet transferring it. OG shit, man. OG. Yeah, that's cool. What did you what did what did you call it the other day? It costs. What's uh, cheapy call a twenty dollar note again? A lobster. Lobster. Yeah. yeah. It costs uh, more than twenty. It costs more than a lobster to get to the states, though. I know, but it was good. He asked for money. He got it for free. They're onto us. Oh, we were out of shot. No, you would be able to see me stroking. No, you, you're right there. Look. No, no, no. It's not what we, us sitting on the couch. It's what was going on on the no, wall. No, no. It was in shot. Trust me. I was watching the show. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's all Excellent. good. All right, I'm gonna uh, let you boys go anyway. So have fun. Where are we going? Uh, over there. Why? Because I need to talk to the Devil Rock Force to get the They're fuck gone. off my Why? couch. They're gone. They're not They're here. Gone. They're, oh, they're never coming back. They're not? They're never coming back. All right, well, we'll sit here and talk to them. Yeah, yeah. No, the Devil okay. Rock What do you guys want to talk about? Uh, let's talk about the Devil Rock Four. All right, let's talk about the Devil Rock Four. They've all cut their hair. Yeah, like you know, well, Jimmy. Jimmy always had short hair, and he was kind of cool. Like it was, it was good. But Carl and Johnny Driver have cut their hair recently, and I was like, fuck, you know, like whoa. Did you? And they both had their tubes tied as well. They, they're shooting blanks now. Really? Yeah, man. Both of them. Hey, look. All I can say is. Long hairs for, for the ladies, short hairs for the men. You know this, I know this. Some people are still catching up with the news. Hey, Oscar, can you tell everybody what happened to you at the airport today? What? Security check? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, case in point. I, of course, uh, have trouble getting through uh, metal detectors, and uh, I tried to get through a metal detector at the airport today, and the security guard called out, female scan. <laughs> female scan. They thought I was a woman. That was pretty cool though. We also got photographed a bunch of times. Yeah, I heard that. Seven, yeah. seven, seven different people took photos of us in the Devil Rock 4 while we were, while we were saying, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> These bloody kids with their loud music. I was oh gonna my scratch God. my eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> loud music's for noisy people. Yeah. See? Noisy. Yeah. Hey, we're doing an interview with Vogue magazine. <laughs> 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 Can you keep the noise down? <laughs> Shit, man. Oh fuck, it's the September issue, motherfuckers. <laughs> it is September. It's already out. <laughs> Oh, good. No, for next year they do it oh, a year. They do right, it, right. They 12, do it. 12 months yeah. ahead. That's how, that's how cutting edge it is. Yeah. They, do, they actually, Vogue is so cutting edge, they actually release the September issue in October just so that you know that it's already happened. So, what you're basically <laughs> saying is your mum's a whore. Pretty much. Yeah, right. If you read between the lines. Don't I mention we're going to be dressed as raccoons? <laughs> what should I dress as? Your dad's dick. <laughs> hey, hey, look, hang on. Hold the, hold the microphone and watch the back wall. Let's see if I can. 
Oh yeah, got it, got it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you're in shot. I think you blocked yourself. Hey, check, hey. So anyway, this is Johnny and Oscar from Hell City Glamours, and we're going to be interviewing Ben from Cox City Shitcox. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Ben? <laughs> oh no, he's so, so Ben, how do you, how do you feel about uh, talking to people with microphones and then sticking microphones in people's faces? <laughs> well, uh. <laughs> Mm, very interesting. Do you like that? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of like playing my first gig when my foreskin rolled back. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't my first gig. It was just a gig, and I couldn't get it to come back down. And it was an all ages show, and there's a lot of people there, and it was really, un it was chafing, and it kind of made me happy. I want, I want to get a T-shirt that says, "I had my dick chafed at an underage concert." <laughs> <laughs> I think. Can we, can we seize this interview now? I'm just incriminating myself over and over yeah, and cool. over again. Yeah, cool. Can we get a drink? Yeah, okay. downstairs. Yeah, let's do that. Hellcityglamours.com. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>